it is a basic question of what was his motivation when he was coming up with this school. Because um, I read that he says for him it was all about giving back to the community mm -hmm. and he never had any intentions of, of uh, he wasn't part of a cartel, which is something I would want to dispute. Because a bad structure is a bad structure. You do not need to go back to who was the contractor to understand and know that this is a bad structure. Mm -hmm. We are talking about a story house that is a Mabati, a Mabati story house building. We do not need mathematics or even digging in to understand that this is clearly a bad structure. Mm -hmm. And you know, for me, it, it boils down to the question of the kind of cartels that have now infiltrated the education system, which is right. very unfortunate because we entrust the lives of our children with our schools. You know, we entrust the lives of our children with the institutions that we take them to. Today morning, as I was leaving the house very early in the morning, at 4 a.m. as I was preparing, I could hear school buses coming into the estate. Right. And, you know, so basically we are seeing schools completely disregarding laws that have been put in place. Because for me, I think this is clear disregard of laws. You know, what this uh, Wainaina guy is trying to tell us is uh, he's trying to put himself in a position where, say, for instance, I'm running a children's home and I'm telling myself that, oh, you know, I want to give back to the community. But then when you come to this children's home, first and foremost, the, 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 the sanitation is out of this world, that you cannot even imagine that children, let's say, below the age of one year old, six month old babies are surviving under such conditions. Mm -hmm. Poor sanitation, no food, no water. And then when something happens and an investigation is done and it is found that a lot of children have died because of poor sanitation, then I will come out and say that, oh, you know, I was only giving back to the community. Even if you're giving back to the community and trying to come up with a solution for people, for, because apparently that area did not have a public school, even when you're coming up with a solution for the community, can you kindly look at the status of the facilities that you're, that you're offering? And then again, back to the question of cartels. You know, this is not the only school that is dilapidated, I mean, dilapidated and in that particular um, d d d disgusting state. Mm -hmm. I have personally visited one or two schools in Kibra giving talks here and there, and you find the exact same structure. In fact, when this school came down, I was reminded of two years ago I once gave a talk at a school in Kibra. But you see, in as much as these people are poor and cannot afford uh, better education services, cannot afford to take their children to very expensive schools, the government still needs to regulate the kind of structures that are put up, you know, the kind of places these kids go to. Some of those schools are in very funny places where kids have to cross over, you know, bridges that can easily collapse anytime. What is the government doing about it? What is the Ministry of Education doing about it? Forget about structures. The other day we saw parents complaining on social media mm -hmm. that the kind of books that schools are recommending mm -hmm. for their children right. are books that are filled with vulgarities, books that even you as an adult would be ashamed and embarrassed to read. Mm -hmm. What is happening? Again, the issue of cartels, you know, people paying kickbacks to the, uh, I mean, the curriculum institute, the Institute of Curriculum Development mm -hmm. and getting their books, you know, put up for as set books in schools. So we really need to, we really need to embrace integrity as a nation because right. it is costing us. Look at these kids. I was particularly saddened by the story of the, you know, the top student who had the parents literally looked up to her to get over 430 marks and go to a national school. You know, lives and futures destroyed. Because for these families, education is the only solution they have. And they understand that it is the only weapon to fight poverty. Now, when cartels and, and corruption infiltrates the education system, where do we stand as a nation? Let's I want to say <clears throat> this man knew that the state of his school was pathetic. And there are people who have probably complained maybe parents mm -hmm. who had probably compa complained and he probably never listened or took their their complaints seriously that kind of school first of all you saw the the small compound within which it was located mm -hmm. and it was hosting over 600 students let's ask ourselves you know? right on this one are we saying that because uh, when you look at all of these factors first mm -hmm. of all 